Hello fellow people of the internet, this is a tutorial on how to open or display a billboard GUI with click detectors. And I've already set up crafting table or a model and also a GUI, so let's just get those out. So scripting this, you will go to the trigger and you can make it a screen thing. You can make it any name anything you want and then we touch activation 16 and then here we'll reference our model local model of script.parent.parent.parent then while we're doing that we'll also put a remote event we'll call it open GUI so here, so. a little grammar error, so there you go, open GUI, so here we'll detect if our mouse detector has been clicked or not, so mouse click connect function, function, and here you have to put in the players, so it knows which player is like click to the click detector. So here we'll go for workspace dot open UI by our client. Put in our player and our model. So you have to put in the player. If you ever find yourself with your fire client not working, that's because you didn't put a player variable in it. You have to always put a player variable in your fire clients because it wouldn't work. So now that we're done with that, it will send to the open GUI and then the receive on the receiving end we will put a local script and then reference our UI. Over GUI script.parent and then workspace dot open GUI on client event connect function and, and here I will write object there we will also add an if statement here so if object model is not equals to UI the Adorni then object dot model actually ui dot adorni is equals to object dot model then an else ui dot adorni equals nil so basically what this does if so is if the object model is not the adorni then it will set that as it's a Dorney. But if it's the same model that you clicked on, then it will select nil, so it will toggle. Now we will try this. Make sure these are enabled. So now we will go play. Oh oops. Okay, don't we'll just walk to the crafting table after we're loading. Don't mind the car, it's just part of something. The other things. There we have this is my test place. And there we have our crafting table. As you can see, we toggle the uh, GUI. It's it's very customizable. It's very easy to set up. You can just copy this local script the only deal you have to only change the local script so then you have to disable this one okay oops it's not permitted let's delete this and then let's not make it like that so here as you can see it will work with different GUI all you need to do is just offset the GUI because you might actually not see your GUI and that's because 
you might have forgotten to offset it. So there, there we go. We can. It shows our GUI, our crafting GUI. So that's very unique. That's very cool. So that's basically all for this tutorial. That's been, that's been me for this tutorial. Goodbye. See you later. And good luck.